How's it going YouTube? In this video, I want to go over the latest release of the Pro X60 keyboard as well as why I think Logitech seems to be going in the wrong direction with their past releases. So to start things off here, we're gonna be talking about the latest Pro X60% keyboard. Being the latest release in their board lineup, this keyboard is effectively a waste of money and effort and I will not be buying it as far as I'm aware. And of course, I will now share my reasoning and thoughts behind this. Upon taking a closer look at this board through Logitech's own website, gathering all the information on the specs, you would see that for an astounding 180 honest American dollars, you get a keyboard that has key control, RGB, and optical switches. The key control effectively being a remap for keys, RGB because of course, and optical switches, all being the main draws to this board. It also looks like it comes with a case and you can't forget to mention the much needed volume knob on the side of the board. Now I'm unsure if this is a joke or not, considering April Fool's was two weeks ago, but seriously, how does Logitech expect this to sell in today's gaming market? When you have products such as Wooting 60 HE that is not only cheaper, albeit by $5, that has features like Hall Effect switches to gain a great deal of an advantage over regular mechanical or even optical switches seen on this board. Steel Series has the Apex Pro with their own Hall Effect switches, Razer has their own Hall Effect analog switch keyboards as well, and then you can dive a little deeper into the custom keyboard hobby, and many of those companies such as KBD Fans and Akko have started to release their own Hall Effect boards as well, at or under the cost of what Logitech is charging for with this board. Now I also know that there are many orgs and esports that are sponsored by Logitech and that will possibly even be using this keyboard, but at such a high level, I seriously doubt any player in a professional scene would willingly trade the benefits of having a Hall Effect board over this thing. I would like to believe that people with wrinkles in their brain ponder at any of the other options before deciding that this is the board they want, which of course makes considering the worst Hall Effect gaming keyboard an obvious choice and this new Logitech G Pro X60 keyboard irrelevant. Also want to mention that not anywhere on their website have I found anything that says that this board is even hot swappable, let alone mod friendly. This could make it much worse value when you have to live with the fact that you are stuck with what is provided by Logitech. If this board is really interesting to you, you can go out and get the board yourself and give it a shot for your own thoughts and opinions, but from what I can see, uh, I won't be getting it. This is a gaming keyboard that honestly could have seen a release five years ago. When you take a gander at the landscape of just the market of gaming keyboards alone, you can see how so many other options practically render this board obsolete. Something along those lines can be said to their latest revision of the G Pro X Superlight 2 as well. If it was not for the safe play with the shape and comfort people are used to, as well as mice already being as technically capable as they are now, I would say the same for that as I do for this keyboard. And of course, this this makes me less confident that Logitech will appease us sweaty gamers and provide us with the G703X Superlight because now it is likely they would rather release products that prove no significance over the competition and even their own lineup. Looking at a gaming my sphere of the market that we are in, where we have many brands that can produce a mouse that is on par or better than Logitech at a much lower price, and even then, Logitech has still managed to fall far behind and continue to milk the G Pro X Superlights for much more than they are worth, with little improvements and new releases. Don't even get me started on the issues that plague their quality control. Now look, don't get me wrong, still have a collection of their mice such as my second original G Pro X that I use daily after breaking my first one, and while it may look glossier than a golf ball after only five months of ownership, it still has managed to be the best mouse that I have used thus far in terms of comfort and performance. This latest release of the Pro X 60% keyboard fails to recognize the market it is competing with. This seems to be a theme that has been reapplied over the last few releases that they have done with all of the products in their lineup. It will be interesting to see what comes next whether that is good or bad but for now i don't think i'll be looking forward to much from logitech but who knows maybe they decide to wake up and realize that they are very deep in their hole or maybe it is just wishful thinking at this point as always thank you for watching this shit post rant be sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on my latest endeavors anyway see you in the next one